hello beautiful thank you so much for clicking my video in today's video i have another wig show and tell and this wig is brought to you by omg her hair the details for this wig i have will be in the description box with the wig link direct store link and social media link will be in the description box if i can get a coupon code i will be sure to put it in there as well The wig that they was kind enough to send over is their relaxed light yaki straight 360 pre-plugged hairline lace wig indian remy human hair clw03 you have two combs in the front another comb in the nape area with adjustable straps and in the front you get a lot of parting space this is what the hairline looks like straight out of the box the hairline comes lightly pre-plucked and the knots come bleached This is what the wig looks like straight out of the box. The length I have is 20 inches. The hair color is a natural color. Hair density 180% and the cap size is average. I went ahead and plucked the hairline of the wig off camera. I have a video that I will link below in the description box that shows how I pluck my frontal virgin hair wigs. It's not super detailed, but it pretty much shows what I did and how I did it. I have a new more detailed video coming soon. And I need to cut the extra lace off in the front. To cut the extra lace off, I use eyebrow scissors. I cut right along the hairline in zigzag motions. Off camera, I added some light swoops of hair on the hairline to help hide the lace and I applied my makeup foundation to the hairline and parting space underneath the lace. So one of my secrets to getting my install really flat is me inserting that elastic band. I insert it right by the ear tabs. So when I put it on, it will lay flat. Not super flat compared to when you glue it, but it does lay flat. You will have to see the results. But I'm going to make a detailed video on how I insert the elastic band for beginners. Now I'm going to install the wig on me. Hmm, when I had my wig on, it was kind of reminding me of somebody. Anyway, so I love the fact that I added the elastic band because it helps keep the wig in place. I was like, okay, I'm already done basically. It was such an easy install. But even though the wig is really flat, I want to get that ear tab to lay down just a little bit more flatter. So I'm going in with a little bit of hard hold spray this is the olive oil super hold spray and i spray one layer of that on top of the lace and then i blow dry it on warm until it's completely dry right here i was using a rat tail comb to comb the hair out on the wig and the comb was going right through that's one thing i love about yakky textured hair the comb usually goes right through and you barely have a lot of flyaways compared to silky hair so i would like to cut the hair and i'm going to add some layers in the front to frame frame my face some really light layers and i'm gonna cut the ends of the hair Don't hide it. I don't 
To be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I won. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Now I'm going to take this edge brush slash comb and I'm going to use the comb part and just comb out the baby hair so it can give it a more soft look. Okay, beautiful. Right here is my end results, and I really hope you like it. I personally love it. It looks really natural, and this is really nice for every day. When I first got the wig straight out of the box, the hair pretty much already came straight. I went in off camera and straightened the wig some more with my Babyliss flat iron, and temperature that I have it on was 460 degrees. If you are wondering if I have any product on the hair, the only product I have on the hair is a heat protectant spray by Paul Mitchell. I sectioned the hair like a few rows, like probably four or five rows, spray the heat protectant, then go in with the flat iron. When I was styling the wig, I got zero tangling. As for shedding, shedding was low to medium. It wasn't too heavy, but I know most of the shedding is coming from me plucking the hairline. I really hate that my hair is sticking up in the back. I did not know, but I end up fixing it again so you guys can get the full vision of the end results I was going for. I know a lot of you might be loving this wig, but you're not feeling the color of the hair. You could always go in and dye it darker to a jet black color. And I even seen somebody went in, bleached the hair, I think two times to get their end results. So this is some real good quality hair. If you do want to try the elastic band method, this is what it looks like close up. It's not super melted into my skin. This is not, I don't think it's HD lace, but it's lace and lace and skin is two different things, but I don't think this is too bad, especially for everyday wear so I can protect my hair underneath. The quality of the hair is really nice as well. And I love the amount of parting space I got because it's really deep and to me, the deeper the parting space the more real the wig looks especially if you go in and pluck the parting space or just hook up the parting space so it can look natural and not too tight so the wig that i got was 20 inches but i went in and trimmed off the ends a little bit so now i would say it's 18 inches on me and my height is 5 6 i do not have this wig glued onto my head or gel down onto my head it is just sitting on my forehead I really like the quality of this wig. I feel like you can get a lot of wears out of it. This is one of those wigs that I'm just going to throw on and go. You do not have to go in and add a elastic band. You can always glue down the hairline or install the whole wig and sleep in it. Because even if you do sleep in it, the quality still will last the next day. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.